All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shit Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. The title of this video is uh, from this article from uh, Russia Today, which uh, it says false flags are real. The United States has a long history of lying to start wars. Okay, and basically, the whole world is on to America. Okay, to the so called white man. Okay, because the so called white man, which are the Edomites according to the Bible, are the devil. That the Bible speaks of. Okay. The white man. The so called white man. Esau. His history. Okay. Is not something that he should be proud of. But he is. Okay. The president that he has. Okay. The, the, the things that he have. It's not something that he should be proud of. But he is. He's just a proud man. Okay. This is John 10 and 10. The thief comes not, and that's what the so-called white man is a thief, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay, because the so-called white man, he's not pro-life, but he makes it seem like he is. Okay, America, all these... um abortions you know but yet uh as this article goes in you know uh, they have they have their hands in all these um other countries and they uh try to say that these other countries are dealing unrighteous you know for for poisoning um the 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 people okay which i'm gonna get into it and I'm going to post this, this uh, article in um, the description box. It says, use of the, the term false flag is often met with raised eyebrows and accusations of conspiracism. But false flags are, are a very real and very present feature of geopolitics. And denying that is simply denying reality. Last week, the United States, along with the United Kingdom and France, this article is uh, April the 16th. Okay, today is April the 20th. It says, uh, bomb, they bombed Syrian government targets, ostensibly in retaliation for an alleged chemical attack which was carried out one week before in the city of Dauma. The story we're told is simple. Syrian President Bashar Assad is an evil maniac who uses poison gas on his citizens for sheer entertainment value. His neocon think tank, the Atlantic Council put it last week, when Assad gasses people, he is simply indulging in addiction, an addiction which he seems to have only recently acquired. Given the fact that before serious war began, American journalists were busy praising the educated and informed assault and, and marveling at the phenomenal levels of peace and religious diversity within Syria. Anyway, so intentious is Assad's newfound desire for watching Syrian babies foaming at the mouth that he is willing to to snatch the feet from the jaws of victory by deciding to use these weapons despite knowing it will provoke worldwide outrage and potentially a major U.S. military out effort to oust them. So that the story I saw it is a monster and the world must unite to stop him. I mean, it says, so that's the story. I saw it is a monster and the world must unite to stop him. There are plenty of people who are less than convinced by this narrative, however. 
One of them is Peter Ford, the former British ambassador to Syria. Ford told BBC Radio Scotland that in all probability, the alleged chemical attack never happened. And that the video and image evidence used as proof by the U.S. and its allies were falsified. There, there are others who believe that the attack could have been real, but that the perpetrators are, were anti-Assad rebels trying to provoke fresh military action from the U.S. In other words, it was very possible a false flag event would serve its purpose perfectly. It was a false flag, false flag event, but served its purpose, purpose perfectly. One of the best question marks to ask when something like this happens is who benefits? Very clearly, in this case, Assad has not benefited at all, but the rebels, rebel groups fighting against them have. Whatever the truth about this alleged chemical action, I mean attack, the notion of false flag events being used to prompt military action should not be met with such skepticism. The U.S. has a long history of using lies or fake news, you might call it, as a pretext for war. It is all important to look at recent events in Syria within that context. And then it goes into the Nayira testimony, which was a false flag. Uh, Operations Norwood. Okay, and I'm going to read this. In the 1960s, American military leaders devised plans to bomb U.S. cities. And if a, a attack was to happen today, you got to understand that more than likely it was something that was uh, a, a, a domestic terrorist. Okay, it was America are the domestic terrorist. Okay. And blame... Cuban leader uh, Fidel Castro in order to ma manufacture public and international support for a war. Okay, and they want to get that agenda accomplished because the so-called white man is the devil. Okay. They, uh, the word devil also means accuser. Okay, so what, they, what they're doing is they're accusing Assad of doing these um, these acts, okay? When it's, in, it's very possible that the, the attacks that they put on Assad never happened, or that it was it 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 was somebody else claiming to be Assad, and and these were people that America set up, okay? So this is Proverbs ten and nine. He that walks uprightly walks sorely, but he that perverts his ways shall be known. And the, the so-called white man is known. The word pervert means to perverse, twist, pervert, make crooked, prove perverse, declare perverse, to twist, distort, make crooked. The so-called white man he has crooked ways. He's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Okay? You can't listen to nothing that he puts out. Okay? It's lies mixed in with the truth. Okay? So so his ways have been known, and that's how that's that's been known from the very beginning because they came to steal, to, to kill, and to destroy. Okay, because they they're known they're thieves. Okay, this is uh, Psalm 52 and 2. It says, Yeah, yeah, um, it says, Your tongue devises mischiefs. Okay, the word mischief. Okay. It says, uh, desire, desire in a bad sense, chasm of destruction, figurative of destruction, engulfing ruin, destruction, calamity. Okay, naughtiness, naughty, 
noisome, perverse thing, substance, very wickedness, okay? So the things that the so-called white man does, okay, it's all to fulfill his desire and what he wants to, to do. You could very well want a puppet leader over there in Syria, okay? It says, your tongue devises mischiefs. Okay, because they want to fulfill that that desire, so they'll do whatever it takes to to provoke people and to to, to get in that um, to back them, back them up, to make it seem like they're doing the right thing. It says like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Once again, so-called white man is the devil. It says thou lovest evil more than good. And these scriptures apply to somebody, man. It just so happens that the person that it applies to is Esau, the so-called white man. It says, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. You can't expect them to, 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 to tell you the truth, man. Okay? So these false flags, they're real. Okay? And, um... They're, they're, they're uh, uh, strategized, okay, S so that, you know, they're moving methodically, okay, it's a, it's a method to their madness, okay, and that method, that madness comes from them being Satan, okay, them being devil. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.